What's up guys, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Smart the messenger. I wanted to add on to, I see like the turning topic, you know, I'm 23 with no friends or I'm 35 with no friends. And I am 30, I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 years old about four months ago. And I have no friends. And I think we, we as human beings in today's age, we have to be okay with having no friends because to me, a definition of a friend is someone you could trust and rely on. I don't really have that. Now I have many acquaintances you know, I have people who I do business with, I have people who I could talk sports with, and um, people I could talk, you know, whatever's, whatever's happening in the world, you know, stuff like that, right? But someone who I could really trust and rely on, you know, I don't have that. And I feel like us as humans, we have to be okay with not having that. And in my 20s, I want to say maybe 20 to 26, you know, I was always around a whole bunch of people, you know, and I, there was times where I had thousands of friends, I have hundreds of friends, I could always hit someone up, let's go smoke. Let's go to a party on the weekend. Um, you know, let's go to a view site, you know, and smoke. Uh, let's drink, whatever the case is. I always had a friend when it came to doing things that were going against God or doing things that, you know, like that I knew that wasn't like gonna elevate me spiritually. But the minute like I wanted to start, you know, okay, let me, let me put the blunt down. You know, I'm not gonna party as much. I'm not gonna drink as much, you know, let me let me try li living for God. Let me try, you know, doing the right thing, you know, because all my life I wasn't living right. So let me try, let me try a switch, a transition, you know, uh, cause I'm trying to level up in life. I'm not, I'm not like most human beings who are just comfortable. They're always comfortable and they're okay with being that. Like, and I was like that for a long period of time, but eventually it's like, bro, like, it's like you're like, I, I feel like I was like a bird. There's a helicopter going up right now, but I felt like I was like a bird and I was like stuck in a cage, but the cage was open. Like the cage was already open, I could come out, but I was too comfortable to, to actually, you know, take the leap of faith and, you know, to see what I had to do to, you know, better myself. And one thing I learned about being alone is that you get to know more about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, and you, you start to love yourself. And, you know, when you have all these friends, all these distractions, you, you know, the people, if, if someone, if you only have people to hit up to smoke or to party with or to get at girls and, you know, stuff like that, that's not really your friend all those people you know so-called friends that i have who are like that like when times got real when i really needed someone they were nowhere to be found but when it's time to go get high when it's time to go get that chicks they're the first ones that you know they're all oh, i'll go pick you up you know i'll go get this and that and it's just like you know i started as i started to get older i was 25 when i started to see this you know see the world the matrix you know for what it is and i was like wow like this world hates God, bro. Like the minute you try to do better, you would think that people would be like, okay, you know, even though they might not be, you know, trying to get better, but they like to motivate you, encourage you, like, oh man, keep, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, I'm trying to get, you know, cause iron sharpens iron, bro. Like if, if I see someone doing good, that's gonna motivate, inspire me to do better, encourage me to be a better human being, to be better in society. But, um, you know, that's one thing that I noticed. So having no friends, I feel like we as humans, we have to be okay with that. Like that's not a bad thing. Now you can have no friends because you're a POS, you're a terrible human being. You know, that is the case too, or no one wants to be around you because you're full of bad vibes, bad energy, just have like a bad spirit, you know, within you, you know, or bad spirits with, you know, multiple S, you know, multiple demons and those demons just use you to hate on other people and to be so negative. You know, you do experience those type of people too as well. But one thing I noticed about people who are loners, people who are alone, you know, especially like the chosen ones, is that they're they're alone by choice. It's not they're alone because they, you know, I'm pretty sure most chosen ones that are alone, they have plenty of people hitting them up, texting them, uh, hitting them up on like Instagram, DM and stuff like that. But, you know, we just choose to be alone because we found ourselves in this position. God put us in this isolation position. Now it was for a season because God never isolates you for the, your entire life, you know? Um, but there was a season where we were isolated. We started learning more about the world. you learning more about the matrix. The matrix being Satan's kingdom because the devil is in rule of this world. You know, the people we used to look up to, we found out that they were sellouts. Uh, the people we used to, you know, idolize and, you know, things of that nature, we found out that those people are not, they're not of the right side of history. You know, your LeBron James, your Tom Brady's, your, your Travis Scott's, your, um, you know, your Beyonce's and, you know, not, not that I listen to Beyonce, but just for the, you know, for the ladies watching. Um, but, you know, the people we used to look up to, they actually worship the devil. And we had to be isolated. So God had to put us in that, that season of being uncomfortable to see the world for what it is. You know, we start to see that, wow, like the minute I start to, you know, walk this narrow path, my enemies are not only the people outside, 
my enemies are within my enemies are of the own household just like it says in matthew chapter 10 verse 34 and 36 and it's like the people who you love the most that's how Satan works man like he knows he knows your weaknesses he knows to use his people that will really hurt you and that, and that you will feel betrayed because if a random person came up to me right now and they would say some negative stuff or you know saying some hurtful stuff like especially on the comments like i don't really care because like i don't know you but if it's someone who i've known for years or a long period of time someone who i put my trust in someone who i had love for someone who you know where it was a time where i had a shoulder to cry on or maybe vice versa and they betray me that hurts way more deep because that's like really betrayal but someone just hating on you that you don't really know like you don't really care you know it's like whatever so saying loves to use those people like those people who you love the most your own family members or friends that you've known for a long time and um you know through this through this period of my life i spent about five years now am i when i say i have no friends do i do i not hang out with people no more no i hang out with people i want to say a lot you know um i you know it's a season guys it's always a season where i hang out with people where i where i want to be an extrovert you know for me i feel like it's always good to have a balance in life you don't want to be a hundred percent an introvert you know now some people thrive being an introvert you know some people thrive being a hundred percent extrovert you know we have to you know but for me personally i feel like a balance is always best for me i'm like a 70 percent introvert and a 30 percent uh, extrovert but i feel like i could really thrive being extrovert and i could also thrive being introvert so whatever i'm in a season of whenever i'm in a period where okay like you know it's time to grow it's time to you know level up right like i know what to do i know that because i when i was in my isolation season my isolation period i started to know know more about myself i learned about what i like about what i like about you know myself what i dislike about myself i learned about my insecurities i learned about things i have to improve on and these are things that i would have never known if i was if i wasn't isolated if i didn't if i had all these friends because i had no time to learn about myself and i understand if you're young like i say like in your high school years middle school years you want to have friends you, you're young you want to get experiences and there's nothing wrong with that so i'm not saying if you have friends cut them all off and you know be alone no absolutely not if you're young you want to have a lot of friends and you want to learn it's all experiences you know like I, i'm ashamed of some of the stuff i used to do in my past but it was just an experience at the end of the day and i gained wisdom you know the bible says to be wise you got to first become a fool that's a one corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 so i had to do a lot of foolish things you know to gain the experience to gain the wisdom okay now i don't i'm not going to go back to my own vomit and repeat it just because you know i want to gain wisdom you know i already knew it so i'm gonna you know depart from it and you know one thing I learned, I learned about friends too as well is that evil communications will corrupt your good manners it talks about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 to 34 and you know every time I fell short of God's glory every time I fell into sin every time I did the wrong thing every time I started to serve my flesh and not my spirit every time I wanted to or no every time I would just like just relapse you know go through a flat line it was because of people i was surrounded with and now one thing about me i don't blame people i blame myself i don't i will never blame anybody for anything in life i'm gonna blame myself okay um and you know sometimes when when we have no friends you know we get we kind of get lonely you know and that's and it's, it's a normal uh, emotion that humans feel sometimes we get lonely so we hear people who we know that are not good for us but we're lonely and we want some type of entertainment we want some type of company we want some love bro you know we want some love and you know sometimes we look for love in the wrong places and by us doing that that gets us in a lot of trouble you know uh, looking for love in the wrong places knowing people who ain't right knowing people who ain't you know right from within most importantly and we get around these individuals now the first day you hang out with them but the first couple of times you know it's not gonna really nothing really gonna change but over time you start to see your your corruptions being corrupted you know your your speech your lifestyle uh your goals it all you all start to go through the flat line just things just start to go downhill and like god gives us the signs man god gives us the warnings but like i said guys we go through that negative emotion of being lonely you know but truthfully we're never really alone you know in the spiritual realm like you guys can't see around me right now but there's angels all around me right now in the spiritual realm the bible says in psalms chapter 34 that angels surround them who fear god okay now we live in a godless society where not many people fear god many people will just live in sin and they don't have any any thought any guilt any shame any conviction on you know oops on the things that uh, i almost dropped my phone on the things that they're going through you know and that was once me too you know but the minute I, I cut off all i cut off everybody i started to learn like okay this is what i i have to do in life this is my purpose man many are called but only few are chosen and you know 
living my life now in my 30s you know uh, i just had a daughter she's about to turn one next month and also um having a son so i have family you know i have family you know i have i'm not like alone where i don't have like a girlfriend or i don't have a wife or some of you guys don't have a husband or a boyfriend but the thing is you're in a period where you're okay with that you're comfortable with that because you know that everything that comes to you comes in divine timing the bible says to seek god's kingdom daily in his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you okay so once you start to gain that peace that wisdom once you start to meditate on God's word, uh, you're gonna gain a great level of peace. And, peace, and you know that maybe the reason why you haven't attracted your wife, your husband, uh, is because you're not ready for that. Like there was a time period, you know, when I first came to God and I wanted a wife when I was 25, 26, but I didn't get one. Why? Because I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for this responsibility. Uh, I wasn't ready for a lot of stuff at the time, you know? So the things that you ask for from God, the reason why you're not receiving it, because you're just not ready for it. And God has prepared you to be ready for it. So you gotta be alone. You gotta spend some time in isolation period. Now, I'm not saying that she shouldn't fellowship with people. I'm not saying that she shouldn't go out. And if there's a community that you're, you serve or that you're a part of, I'm not telling you guys to go go abandon that and just you know live off grid. Even though a lot of people, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about people living off grid. And that sounds like a very interesting idea, especially how these cities are turning to smart cities and AI and you know all that type of stuff, the 15 minute cities. That actually sounds like a great idea to do. You know, I feel like mentally I'm prepared prepared for like I'm prepared to just have no friends like I, like I said I've been this for a long long period of time but I do know there's times where I do need a friend like for instance right let's say if my car breaks down you know I want to have a friend to call on you know and be like hey um my car broke down you know one thing about me if someone helps me I always help them back you know because time is money you know they didn't have to you know for them to come get me they got to pay gas you know for them to come get me maybe they have to call you know take a break off work so you always gotta you know this, the energy someone gives you, you got to match back. You know, the energy someone, if someone's like kind of like pushing you away and, you know, not showing the love you deserve and respect, you should start, you know, distancing yourself from that. You know, don't don't be a part of something that you know that someone's giving you half love, you know? And, you know, these are all the things that I learned by being alone, bro. These are all the things that I learned about having no friends, okay? And um, there's many times in the Bible story where it even says in Micaiah, hopefully I'm saying that right, M-I-C-A-H, it says that trust ye not in a friend. Okay? Even God tells us to not put your trust in a friend because God knows that in these trying times, in these last days, where man, uh, man against his father, uh, daughter against her mother-in-law, stuff like that, you know, those times where we can't really trust people, man. Can't really, we're living in that type, of, to that type of environment where it's just getting harder and harder for, you know, us to really rely on and, and, and help other people and or trust other people because, you know, the backstabbing is real. You know, the spirit of Judas, the spirit of betrayal is like at an all-time high. So a lot of chosen ones are just keeping themselves isolated because we don't want to deal with that, man, because we know the pain and the hurt that it comes with. And that takes, you know, depending on how long you knew the individual, that takes a lot of months, years to just to heal from. And on top of that, we're battling certain, you know, some, some of us are battling maybe, you know, the strongholds, the addictions um, that, you know, the, the vices that we struggle with, or maybe the unclean spirits that's going to torment us, the spirit of fear, the spirit of confusion. We're battling all these spirits, right? And then we have to deal with other people's spirits too as well. And it's just like a lot of us, we don't want to do that, bro. We don't want to, we don't want to go through that, that pain and that hurt, you know, because like I said, guys, we don't deal with individuals. We don't deal with human beings, okay? We're dealing with spirits that, are, that inhabit the individual. Now, some people have a good spirit. Not everyone has a bad spirit. Some people have the Holy Spirit, okay? Some people have a righteous spirit, okay? So that doesn't mean, I'm not saying that everyone's like evil and demons. Like, nah, I'm not saying that. But a lot of people do struggle with demonic spirits. Even the Bible says that in the book of Revelations that um, Babylon will become a place of unclean spirits and every hateful bird. And I'm seeing that. Like a lot of people are possessed with unclean spirits and they have no idea okay and yeah just being you know having no friends and you know if I, guys if i had all these friends i wouldn't be on youtube bro i wouldn't know what my purpose was i wouldn't be doing what god has called me to do because i have all these friends all these distractions and i don't have the time to actually make the content i don't have the time to you know do what i'm called to do you know and i just feel like in these trying times don't be ashamed because you have no friends like i, like I said i see a trending topic a lot of people are like afraid bro tell the truth who cares you know, one thing about one thing about two, when you have God in your life, you're you're very confident. Even the Bible says that the fear of the God brings strong confidence. Like you, you don't care what people think about you. Like you don't you don't care. And I feel like 
we have to get to that type of level where who cares what some someone has to say, like, especially if we don't know them. They're not paying your bills, you know? Um, so why, why do we care? So don't be ashamed if you have no friends. Don't don't feel like you're missing out because truthfully, you're never missing out. There's so many times, bro. And this has happened just recently where I thought I was missing out. I was like, dang, like I thought I was missing out. And I actually go to something that I thought I was missing out and I realized like, there's nothing, this is, I'd rather just stay home, bro. Like I, this just happened just recently. Like I'm telling you guys, a chosen one, you really thrive being alone, bro. You thrive, you win, you're successful, you get to new levels, man. And always remember when you get to these new levels, you're going to have to face new devils. That's just a part of life. That's a part of the matrix. That's a part of the society we live in, man. That's just the spiritual realm where, you know, the devil knows you're about to level up. He knows you're about to win. He knows you're about to receive your breakthrough, your blessing, and all the good things that God has for you. So he tries to stop that, okay? I feel like we have to do our best we can, man, to fight this flesh and to, and to keep from sin. And to, you know, to have the armor of God on the spiritual fight because it's tough out here, man. It's tough. And, um, you know, to be alone, you got to be strong, man. To end this on a good note, man, only strong people could really be alone. Because like I said, there was a time where where I was always hanging around. I had thousands of friends. Literally, I don't I don't remember a time I was home unless I had to sleep or wake up or, you know, you know, shower or something like that. Most of the time I was always out. And, you know, I just wasn't strong enough man. i wasn't strong enough to be alone i couldn't i couldn't be alone bro i couldn't go a day without feeding my bad vices that i struggle with and it just feels good that being alone i gain that spiritual strength that spiritual clarity and i just feel so much better having no friends i feel so much better now if, an, if a person comes my way and he's a cool individual cool brother you know then yeah he could be my friend but me putting myself out there like even the bible says who could find a faithful friend and uh, it even says in Solomon, which is very deep, it says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 24 to 29, Solomon, he says, out of a thousand men, he only found one. So out of a thousand men, there was only one righteous man. And out of a thousand women, he didn't find one. Isn't that crazy? Because you got to think about it. Solomon had all the clout, all the money. He had everything that you ever desired. Okay. He was a king of Israel. He had everything he ever desired and he couldn't find one good woman. And it just makes me realize, like, okay, that back then, that Israel was more of a righteous nation. They actually kept God's commandments, you know, to at least more than what they do over here in America. They actually kept God's laws, and you know, they they had, you know, some type of fear of God in them because they were a strong nation. And the only way you become a strong nation is by having the fear of God in you, you know, and you know, t training up the people, keeping God's commandments, you know, following God's laws. And um, you know, it just makes me realize, like, dang, what are we living in today? He he found one righteous man. Today, you're not really finding that, man. Like, think about it. I live in a city, or I used to live in a city with a million people. I didn't find one person who was like-minded. I didn't find one person, bro. So, just history repeating itself. But I hope you guys got blessed by this message, man. I know this is kind of a longer video. Some people like the shorter videos, but I was just rambling, man. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to be alone. And have no friends focus on your self-improvement journey focus on god most importantly keep god first keep god's commandments and seek god's kingdom daily in his righteousness and things will be added into you in due time be patient remember when you plant a seed before it becomes a tree all these trees you see behind me right all these bushes it was first a seed okay but kept on watering it keep kept on watering it kept on being disciplined and the sun god gave the sun god gave the increase okay and it kept on growing it kept on growing so being consistent staying disciplined I love you guys so much. You guys made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. Y'all stay blessed. Take it easy. God bless you. I'm out. Peace.